It's just gone eight o'clock in the morning and we've just nosed out of Broom's Yard at Brundle on their brand new 430. We're heading down the river Yare out to sea at Lowestoft to do a full MBY test on this brand new boat. Although there are some fairly interesting, maybe even radical things going on down below on this 430, I think it's really important to remember just how well this type of boat works on all sorts of levels. Uh, and it really is to do with levels. The aft cabin here pushes up the deck level so you get tremendous elevated view. But of course you don't have that enormous climb up and down to the flybridge every time. There's no separation, it's all here. And all you have to contend with is a few gentle steps up and down into the saloon. It's a boat that feels very connected between all the different areas. So you only have to look around you to see that this is a broom for the 21st century, completely different to the boats of old. But what I really like about this is it still works on a practical level too. So this chaise, for instance, might seem to be a bit decadent, but actually it's quite well designed. You've got storage under here. These pull out and slide across so you can use them with the dining table. Uh, and storage as well behind the headrest here. Nice practical touch there and overhead handrail here, if should you need it. So it's retained its practical edge uh, from, the, from the boats of the past, but it's brought the styling into the 21st century. I think it's a really nice mix. You can see yet more evidence of 21st styling here in the owner's cabin uh, in the form of this chaise. I personally think this is a bit indulgent for a boat like this, but it doesn't really matter. Room can build you this, or if you want, as the next owner wanted, they're putting a big pressing table unit in here. Uh, as you can see, it's unusual for a broom in that the bed runs across the boat, and I think it's a great touch because instead of facing a rather boring bulkhead there, you can actually look out over the transom through these windows here, which also double as escape hatches. And it's a practical layout, works quite well for me. Although the galley is a few steps down from the saloon, there's still a very open lines of communication with the people up there uh, and it generally works well. There are one or two things that I personally don't like. I, I'm not too keen on sharp corners and I'm not particularly fond of cutlery drawers which are hidden behind the drawer. I think that's a bit, a bit of a fiddle but other than that it generally works pretty well. There's a really useful space up here for shuttling food up into the saloon uh, and this is a really nice touch as well. There's a great view out through here, good for seasickness sufferers, uh, modern induction hob, uh, and generally good workable space with a reasonable amount of storage. 